what up guys and girls welcome to another youtube tutorial for the making beats for fun series this is your boy dj swift m on the beat today i'm gonna be doing a little tutorial uh, using native instruments machine gonna show you guys how to tempo sync your drum loops and a bit of sampling within the machine software and hardware i've done a uh, beat a couple of videos back uh, using the kits from modernproducers.com and uh, I've always noticed a little bit harder within machine to kind of tempo sync your loops to the tempo of the track I know a little bit easier in uh, Freely Loops or Logic Pro where you kind of drag the waveform onto the project and then syncs to the tempo of whatever the project uh, BPM is so um, yeah I'm gonna just do a quick breakdown this is what works for me and then uh, I'm sure there's probably other ways of doing it but I had fun uh, sampling as well so let's begin okay so within native instruments file create a new project and yeah as you can see the tempo is set to 120 bpm and then I've got my kits here from modern producers and then these are drum loops from a kit called schizo drummer and uh, yeah if i preview the drum loops so quite good that they give you the bpm the beats per minute of the loops so usually in the other programs you kind of drag it and it comes up as a waveform and it will sync it to this tempo but in native instruments a little bit harder for instance if i if i've got this drum loop i double click it comes on the first sound of your group over here okay usually the polyphony is set to eight so if i press the pad one so the pad one over here you see if the polyphony is set to eight it kind of plays over each other so you want to do just set it to one and then you'll notice the velocity as well of the of the pad kind of the harder you press it the louder it will be so what you want to do is just change the velocity to fixed velocity and you do that by pressing the third button which is the pad and then all the way on top you'll see another button that comes up with fixed velocity so this button and this button over here and yeah when I press the pad it kind of uh, keeps it to 100% velocity okay so um, usually I click once over here and I don't really know how long the drum loop is if it's one two three four bars so I'm just gonna drag it so to about five bars and you see it's set to 120 the bpm and if i just double click and draw my loop it still plays it at 89 bpm so what i found out kind of to temper sync it let me just see if i can find another drum loop yeah kind of like that okay so let's begin first by setting our tempo to the tempo of the drum loop which is 85 just to see how long the loop is okay and then i press play so i just i've drawn in my drum loop over here and when i click on the sample i can see it under edit so just to show you sample edit that's the sound over here okay press play okay so this is where it stops so it looks like it's a two bar loop from one to three so go back to your pattern length just drag that to two okay so yeah it will loop and it will play over and over again but we know that bpm over here is 85 
but if I change that to 90 or 100 it still doesn't uh, tempo sync it so the way that I found to do it just delete that over there so I've come into my sample editor and just over here under the slice what I'm going to do is set the mode instead of manual I've set it to split and now if you come down to your machine hardware you see there's four slices so I can I can play it on the pad but what I want to do I'm going to change that to let's say 16 slices and then all your pads light up and then I you can kind of either play it manually on your machine hardware so the trick that I've done just a simple I had selected a slice the mode to split I selected 16 slices and then I just click apply with this button here and when you come down to your keyboard editor you'll see that each hit is on on a step so now when I press play change the polyphony to one again okay now if I wanted to change the tempo uh -huh. so you can see now it's tempo syncing to whatever that BPM I choose Okay, so that was just a quick kind of a trick that I found out. So you can either play it manually, your drums on the pad, or just apply and that will come up on your edit over here. So again, what I've done, double click or drag your drum into the group one change the polyphony to one I went to my sampler and okay because it's the same the same drum loop it kind of remembered from the first drum loop that I've done so you just change the mode to split I've chosen 16 slices and just applied it and yep yeah, all your drum loops come down here So you can also play it manually on the drum pads. Okay. So moving on, another little trick that I found. So this is your sound, whatever effects you add at the bottom will affect this particular sound, your master. If I add, for instance, compression uh, and a limiter. Yep, so now it affects the whole mastering, whatever sounds I have. You can hear the drums a little bit crackly. That's because it's an old school drum beat. So another trick that I found again. So click on your sound. Click on your mixer. So that's my channel volume for the drum loop. And then another trick that I found, so if you wanted to pitch this particular drum loop, but keep the tempo at 86, just come down here. So this changes the pitch of the drum loop, but keeps the same tempo, which is 86 BPM at the moment. So it kind of gives it a bit of a... I don't know, a bit of an old school vibe with kind of a Wu Tang feel to it. And yep, so this section here you can change the compression, make it a bit more beefier. You can filter it if you want. Okay, 
So that was the drum loop. Now moving on to a sample. So again, uh, create a new group. I've gone into my modern producers kits and I think let's have a look. Okay, hmm. this sounds like a uh, Wu Tang sample. Okay, so I've double clicked or dragged across the first sound of the group. Change the polyphony to one. Go into my sample. I'm just gonna mute the drums for now. Okay, so I'm not going to do too much to this sample. Uh, I think a good trick to this is to play around with your pitch, either to do a semitone or a few semitones up or down. So if I press on the pad. what the tempo of this particular uh, sample is so kind of a way to find out is if you turn on your click track and once I press play okay so we need to I'm gonna leave the sample as is playing from the beginning to the end I'm not gonna chop it up so I'm trying to find out what sort of a tempo this particular sample is so I can sync the drum loop to it so one way to do it, so I'm going to just press pause. Uh, let's see, it sounds about maybe 89, 90. Okay, so I press play on my sample. So that sounds a bit too fast. So I've gone three semitones up and now on your machine hard hardware with the restart button and the click track on. So we're kind of DJ mixing to try to get the tempo of the of the loop. So it sounds a little bit fast. Just a little bit too slow. I think it's around 87 or 88. So I'm going to press play again on the sample. Yep, I think it's about 87, maybe 87 point. Okay, let's do the drums. Yep, that seems to work. Take away the click track, shift and mute, and take away the sample. Go into your step editor, and now on the keyboard, uh, let's change that. Okay, so it's 
pretty much on the root key C3. Just double click. So you just need to, on the first kind of bar, draw, draw it in, and then your sample, I'm not too sure how long it is, I think it's probably, I'd say maybe 15, 16 bars. So now my drum loop as well was originally 85, and then I've got it to sync to 87.05 BPM. And when I press play, So it's starting to uh, to sound like a track. So I think uh, I'm gonna try and uh, finish this track, try and complete it. So I haven't really chopped up the sample, I'm just letting it play. So it looks like it's about 23 bars. Uh, yep, so pretty much again with the sample all I've done, I've gone into the edit mode under the pitch. I tuned it up three semitones and then I can play it on the on the pad of the machine hardware. So I can go to the slice and chop it up into different samples, but I've decided just to keep it as is and just added the drum to it. Obviously, there's uh, more stuff you can add, effects, uh, sound effects, atmospheric effects maybe to it. But I think for now, I'm going to try and uh, complete this drum loop. So, yeah, what I've done, use the sample, a drum loop, put it together. The drum loop, I had to tempo sync it. And the sample, I tuned it up, three semitones. And yes, let me go and try and uh, make a little beat from this and I'll upload it shortly after this. That's all for this tutorial guys. So this is what worked for me. There might be other ways of doing it. If it works for you, then why not do it? But I know it's a little bit more trickier in machine compared to Logic Pro or Fruity Loops to work around and yes thank you very much